The next visitor to the barn is Alan Reed from Warwick. He's hoping upholstery expert Hannah Weston-Smith can restore his little piece of history. Hello, I'm Alan. I'm Jay. Hello, Jay. Hi, I'm Hannah. Hello, Hannah. Nice to meet you. So this beautiful chair must be yours. It is. Tell us about it. This one was bought by my grandparents, probably late 20s, early 30s. Uh, one of three. One of three? Yes. Wow. That one is the worst because of the story attached to it, yes. And what is the story attached to it? The story is, we're now in 1940, okay. yeah, beginning of the war. They were in their house in Lens, which is in northern France. OK. Germans invade northern France, as, as is often the case. You know, an officer would come from house to house to look at things to uh, take away. So they come into my grandparents' house and um, they look at the chair and they say, oh, schön, beautiful. My men will come tomorrow to fetch those chairs. When the officer left, my grandfather thought he's not having those chairs, you know. And he took those three chairs into the cellar and covered it with coal <laughs> to hide them, right? Very smart. OK. But next morning, the soldiers come for the chairs. My grandfather said, oh, they've gone already. Someone has come to fetch them already. And then they, they left. There was no aftermath. So no one checked the, no, the, the no, cellar no. or anything no, no, like no, that? No, no, no. They just so left? It was very, very lucky. And that's not the end of the story. OK. Towards the end of the war, when it was reasonably safe to get the chairs back in the living room, yeah. uh, there was a allied air raid right. and explosions everywhere. And there was a blast which blew in the front window and the glass shattered the, uh, the top of this chair, especially this, this arm here. Yeah. So this chair has definitely been through the wars then? It it's, has, it has. <laughs> it's not doing too bad, I no, think. No, it's, um, this is quite nice. Oh, the pattern is lovely, isn't yeah. it? I mean, it's part of its history. Well, yes to, yes, to get rid of that would kind of almost get rid of some of the story. True. So, Alan, what would you like Hannah to do to this chair? To see this particular chair, which has the, you know, the best history of the three, yeah. as, as best repaired as Hannah can, hmm. would be a great tribute to my grandparents and to my parents. So, would you reckon, Hannah? Well, um, it's certainly seen better days. You can see the, the springs fallen out underneath it. And we'll have to have a look at the chair um, and see how much of it we can conserve so it is usable. But it's not done badly, really, if it's 90 years old. Oh, yes. No. <laughs> and thank you for bringing this chair in. Well, pleasure. OK. We'll let you know when Hannah's thank done you, something Hannah, to it. Good luck, or I should say, bonne chance. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> OK. Goodbye. Take care now. Bye-bye.